Hey, Anthony Wofford here, how to get into dramaschool.com. Three things you need to know about interviewing with colleges. That's what we're gonna learn in this video so that when you do get interviews and people are interested in talking to you more after they see your monologues, you know what you're really focusing on that you know you need to get across the table um, when it comes to sharing yourself. So obviously, um, We'll get right into it. First thing is your dreams. You gotta obviously know what your dreams are, what are you excited about, what juices you, what your vision is, why you wanna use this training, you know, to, to ultimately get somewhere. And so I remember it in my Juilliard audition, they were like, you know, what do you wanna do, Anthony? And I said, I, and I leaned in, I remember saying really, you know, decisively, like, my goal is to act on the Globe stage in London with the Royal Shakespeare Company. Boom, baby! said it and uh it felt good you know i was true to myself life changes my dreams have changed that's all good but right now where you're at what are your dreams speak them to your friends speak them to your teachers speak them to your coaches and speak them to the schools if they ask you bring your dreams number two you want to bring why that school what is it about that school that makes it more than just good training? Obviously you're going there, obviously you're applying there because you believe it's one of the top schools for you. But why that school? So if they ask you, you know, what is it you want to come to this school for? That's really, you know, an opportunity for you to talk about your knowledge about that school and what you personally respond to. For instance, at University of Minnesota, uh, one of the schools I applied to, you know, I remember him asking me, you know, you wanna do the Go Globe, you wanna go to London and you wanna, you know, study in New York, I mean, uh, work in New York and stuff, well, why apply to Minnesota? Why University of Minnesota? And I looked at him and I said, two reasons. You, you know, he, he, his name was Ken Washington. If you're not familiar with Ken Washington, that's okay. But, and he's passed away since but he was an amazing teacher and director especially uh, amongst the young actor community at that time so he auditioned us and you know i said you you know your quality if you're here that means this program is of a certain caliber and i'm excited to train with good people number two though the, the guthrie and I, the guthrie is a great regional theater and if i'm studying at university of minnesota that means i'm connected with the guthrie i can have potentially opportunities there i can obviously have connections there for you know transferring to new york or whatever it may be so those are two specific reasons why university of minnesota is somewhere i want to go you know you got to be able to speak clearly and passionately about what you respond to about that school and be authentic number three you got to be clear about your strengths and your weaknesses you know, you can't just be all strengths and you can't just be all weaknesses. If they ask you, uh, I remember Juilliard asks us um, in writing actually, they were like, describe your strengths and weaknesses. And that was easy for me, you know? I remember telling them my strength was comedy. I always was cast as a lead in, in, in comedies and you know, won tournaments and, and won certain awards that were comedic. So that was kind of obvious to me. So I let that be like, oh yeah, comedy. And number two though, my, my weaknesses, you know, uh, one thing that I wanted to develop a lot was my vocal, proper vocal technique. You know, I had, I told him I, I played sports growing up. So there's a lot of straining my voice as I cheered for my team and improper use as I developed habits that were bad. So developing proper breathing and vo vocal and speech techniques was, was gonna be a big deal to me if I wanted to perform eight times a week to a Broadway crowd of 3,000 and reach the back row without straining my voice. You know, so I was excited to, to learn proper vocal technique, go deep dive. Strengths and weaknesses. You gotta be able to speak specifically to you. You know, the more specific you can get with all of these, the better. So let's review. Bring the following to every interview you do with colleges. One, your dreams. Be passionate, be authentic. What are your dreams? Why are you, you know, acting? What is it ultimately that you're excited about even after school? Two, why that school? What's unique to you about that school? Three, your strengths and weaknesses. Be specific and be clear. So just remember, if you're being interviewed by a school, they love you. They want to talk to you more. You know, they, they see dozens, hundreds, thousands of kids apply. And based on the work they saw with you, 
they want to keep talking to you. So you should feel confident. You should feel excited if you're in an interview and this is what you basically need to get across the table. And if you do, you're gonna have a very good chance at getting into drama school.